Hi, my name is Corey Adolphus, and I'd like to welcome you to the Star Eco Station. We're an exotic wildlife rescue facility and a children's museum located here in Culver City. And I'd like to show you around. We've got some of our conures here. There are Gen, Gen Day conures. We've got a military macaw. We've got our African gray parrots. We've got our crocodilian exhibits. In this uh, cage here, we've got two caiman and two American alligators. All of these crocodilians, all of these alligators here were confiscated and they're rescued because people thought that they could keep them as pets. So here in the reptile room, other than the uh, baby alligators and the reticulated python, we've got other animals that as we've been talking about, have been smuggled or were privately owned. So it's feeding time for the herbivores, for the plant eaters here at the Eco Station, and we've got uh, one of our co-workers here has made a salad. One thing a lot of people don't realize when acquiring an animal like this, and what they'll do is for most herbivores, for instance, the green iguana, people will just feed iceberg lettuce and that's actually got the least nutritional value. It's probably the last thing they would ever eat when they were out in the wild. So leafy greens, lots of different fruits and vegetables, mostly the vegetables, and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort, effort to make a salad something like this on a daily basis. All right, so this is Exo. Exo is uh, our reticulated python here. She's been with us about 10 years, and in 10 years I've watched her go from about a foot and a half to close to 15 feet. All right, this is Pico, one of our chinchillas. He was one of our rescues, this was a pet. Uh, these are examples of some animals that uh, people would use their fur or use their skin to make coats and it can take over 100 to 150 of these animals just to make one coat. 